Hi everyone and welcome back to Moonstone Cottage. Tonight I decided to take you along for my um, medicine making journey and I am making some marshmallow and licorice root lozenges. So what I did, this is my personal recipe, is I took a fourth cup of honey, raw honey, and I dumped it into, I poured it into a bowl and then I have um, marshmallow root powder that you can see right here and I'm not measuring anything because the end product is kind of personal it's how you like it um, so I just tend to sprinkle things so this is licorice root powder and as you can see I will just be sprinkling a little bit on And then the next bowl is ginger root powder, which I don't add a lot because it is spicy and I do give this to my son, um, but it does help to warm the inside of the body. And so at this point, what I'm gonna do is slowly stir and incorporate the herbal powders into the honey. This process does take a long time. Um, because as we know, honey is very runny. So it does take a long time to get it to the consistency of an actual dough to where I can handle it and it's not sticking on my hands. So at this point, I am stirring and incorporating and it kind of resembles a really runny peanut butter. Obviously that's not at the point where I need it. So I'm going to pour on a few more sprinkles of herbal goodness and then I'm going to slowly incorporate and make sure all of the dried herbal powders are incorporated into the honey and this is a very messy process you will see how messy I get my medicine making my herbal medicine making gets very very messy but it's super super fun and this project right here is actually something that you could do with your children. You could teach them how to make herbal lozenges and it's something for, um, for you guys to do and bond together with. So at that point, it's still a little runny. So I am pouring in um, a little bit more of the powders. And once again, I'm stirring and incorporating all the powders into the honey. And like I said before, I do not measure this because, like I said, some people's honey is thicker than others. Um, mine was a little bit runnier because I infused it with herbs and that can make it much runnier than if you were just to pour it right out of the jug that you see sitting there. So I am having to add a little bit more herbs than if somebody had a jar of honey that had been sitting there for a year. So as you can see, it's getting a little bit thicker. And so I am able to pour it out on my cutting board. It still is pretty thin, but it's workable. So you just pour the mixture out on your cutting board and this is where the fun begins. This is where you will get completely messy. So what I'm doing is I am pouring on or sprinkling on a little bit more of the powder just so it doesn't stick on my hands and it doesn't stick on the cutting board. And I need it to be at that doughy consistency and right now it's not completely there. So this process, you're just going to knead the dough like you would a regular dough. You're going to add more powders to it until it gets to the point where it's no longer sticky on your hands, it doesn't stick to the cutting board, and it holds its shape relatively well in a ball form. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. 
because this process takes a while and I don't want you guys to get bored. Marshmallow is a perennial herb native to Europe, North Africa, and Western Asia. It's in the mallow family. And the word mallow comes from the Greek word to heal. And it's commonly used for irritation of the mucous membranes. Marshmallow root is considered a demulcent and is, a, is great for sore throats. It's mucilaginous constitutes um, they help to coat the throat um, and it's a really good moistening expectorant so if you have a really dry cough this is very good for it if you have a very irritated dry throat marshmallow root is very good for it it's also great for soothing gut inflammation heartburn and even GERD um, for magical uses it's used for love and protection Licorice root is an um, herbaceous perennial and it's native to Western Asia and Southern Europe. It's also a demulcent and an expectorant and it helps to moisten and build healthy mucus in the respiratory and digestive tracts. Um, licorice can moisten dry lungs and is helpful for unproductive coughs. Kind of, um, it's really good for bronchitis as well in magic it's used for lust, love, and fidelity. Put it in a ball like you see here and what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of cocoa powder to it because you know children don't take medicine very well unless it tastes good so I do want this it doesn't taste disgusting but herbs by themselves are something that children don't gravitate towards so I wanted to put something a little more tasty in it and children love the taste of chocolate so I thought to incorporate that into here so now I'm just putting the mixture all over the dough ball incorporating the cocoa powder And now the next step is going to be, I'm going to take that big ball of dough and I'm going to separate it and take little pinches of it and make tiny little balls with it. And those are gonna be the lozenges. As you can see, I'm sprinkling some marshmallow root and licorice root powder um, on the cutting board so that I can roll the other little tiny balls um, into that mixture and coat the outside of it just like that. These are bite-sized little lozenges. And I'm putting cocoa powder down um, to coat the outside as well so that you have a little bit of a chocolate taste on the outside. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be placing these tiny little balls into my dehydrator. And I usually make the size of them is usually about a half inch to an inch big. I want them big enough um, to where it is actually going to help my throat. So I'm going to speed up this process because this does take a few minutes to complete. I'm going to put everything in this dehydrator and I usually do it on a very low setting, about 105, between 95 and 105 degrees. And I do it for about six hours or until the lozenges 
feel somewhat hardened. I don't want them rock hard, um, but at this point they're a little bit too soft to store. So we want them to be a little bit harder and dehydrate so that they don't stick together and that the shelf life is a little bit longer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, please let me know. And until next time, I hope you guys have a magical day.